Welcome back, everyone. We're going to the bedroom now because Tamara's here with ways to turn it into a stylish summer oasis. I love the idea of that. So for you, T, what's the biggest change you make uh, to your bedding in the summer? You switch things up? I do. I, I cooled it down. Um, I've recently just put away the duvet, which I tend to like for three seasons of the year, and I've swapped it out with um, my summer quilt. But I kind of did a little bit of a bedding refresh, and I also feel like right now during um, COVID times, you know, it's a chaotic world we're living in. And if the bedroom can be that oasis, as you said, a place where you could go and have some serenity, that's great. And my big advice would be that even during this time, like try and make the bed every morning. I will make the bed even if my husband is still in it. It's very important for me to get that bed made. Can we talk about the pillows? <laughs> pillows are so crucial. The sleeping yes. pillows, the decorative pillows. I don't know if Edward wants you to scale back how many pillows you have on the bed but how does it work for you guys? <laughs> okay, so first of all, I have bench at the foot of my bed, so that's a concern for a lot of people. Where do I put all these pillows? We put them on the bed, and um, I just quickly, in terms of the base, I'm a big fan of the... Uh, flat sheet. So I also like to take that flat sheet and put the decorative side of it facing down. This always confounds my husband. He, he can't get it straight. But <laughs> then when you fold it back, you're showing the nice side. Really, the sleeping pillows that you're on every night should be more about function and what makes your neck and back feel good versus how they look. So I have a water pillow that weighs a ton. Edward has a foam cooling pillow. The fact is they're different and they don't exactly match even though I have matching shams on them. So we kind of want to cover them up. And that's where the leaning pillows come in. I still count these as sleeping pillows because they are bed pillows and you can get you know, sleeping pillows to the right size to fit your bed. Scale them up for a king, they're bigger. Scale them down for a full size bed. This could be a Euro sham. These are just regular shams. You could even have pillowcases, but I would do these two the same and these two the same. And then this is really for you're lying in bed reading, you're leaning against it, or you're watching TV. We get next into the decorative cushions. And what I'm really obsessed with these days is the oversized lumbar cushion. So this is gorgeous. It's from Tonic Living. What I like about it is really that you can just have one and then you're done. It makes things quite simple. It's super fresh looking, a little bit different. They call it a bolster, but it doesn't have the round sides I had in the 80s. And then if you want to amp it up a notch, you can throw a small lumbar in the front. Another variation would be something different, a grouping of three. So there's lots of ways to style it. These are kind of my go-tos for my own house and when I'm styling up an interior for a photo shoot. So we have that. That's beautiful. I love that. I love playing with the pillow configuration because if you got a fresh configuration of pillows, you almost feel like you've refreshed the whole room. T, thank you for, for letting us get intimate right into the master bedroom um, and the really great tips there for refreshing the space for summer.